to red at Ted Art. Yes, it's time for some spring flowers. These are super easy 3D paper spring flowers um, that are quick and easy to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make our flowers, you will need an A5 sheet of paper, an A6 sheet of paper, and if you want to add some details, some scraps. You will also need a um, stapler, very important. I'm also gonna use a hole punch, but you don't necessarily need a hole punch, and you need the tiniest bit of glue just to add the details, but it's totally up to you. You don't have to add those. So, to begin with, we need to create a concertina out of this yellow paper. So I'm gonna fold it in half, And then I'm going to fold it, open it, and fold it in half again. Bring this down, turn it, and bring that edge there. So what I'm trying to do is, even though this is going to end up as a concertina, they have to be exactly really super even. So if you keep halving it, you get the even fold. So that one bring this one out and again so you need a one more fold here so you have super even folds now just make sure that they are in fact all opposites so you've got one two three, should be eight super neat folds put that on the side and repeat with your second color so this is A6. So if you saw the poinsettias, we had a little point. This time we're going to make them rounded. So make sure you've got the fold on this side of the flap on this side. And you're going to cut into it and come in quite straight at the top. So the straight here will make it rounded and then repeat on the other side. There we go. Maybe a tiny bit more. But you do want that straight edge there. And you'll get that nice petal shape. And then you repeat. Now you decide, do you want these to uh, fold in like that one? which case you again have the edge on the outside, or if you want to have them contrasting, so coming out like that one, you need to flip it. So you have the open edge here, close edged here. This time I'm gonna go a bit further down just to open up the, the paper, but again, a straight rectangular at the top. And again here, a straight bit at the top. Okay, so you have your two folds, this time fold in half, just to get that center crease. Repeat. And repeat. So you've got them like that. And now open and fold these over the top. So you need to have, sorry, turn them around, there we go. They slot over like this. Push them in, have it as neat as possible. Find the center one. So you've got one, two on each side. Here's the center one, hold it. So I want to hold that. Let's see if my stapler's working and a staple as close to the top as possible to make that all secure. So first fold. Now, take the outside and carefully bring round. Here we go. And again, time to staple. Try and staple as high up as you can to get some of that pink. And then just give this a little squish, just to make that fold a bit neater. There we go. And now you have to repeat on the other side. This is always a slightly harder one. So you bring it round. 
and then you turn it. And again, you try and catch, and if you can see it, catch the pink paper when you're stapling. There we go. Isn't that cute? Your basic flower is done. Now the top tip here, so you can see here it's a bit squished. My petal here is a bit narrower than this petal here. So that the, the, the trick is, is to cut a nice, from the bottom, right round up. Although it's just a different effect, so it's really up to you, but you can play with that. And then the last little bit, you don't have to do this, but I quite like it. You can use um, scissors or your uh, hole punch. Just cut out, or punch out three little, So like your little detail in your flower. Add a little glue. Not too much. And then if you wish as well, you can also glue on just a flower at the bottom. And that's it. That is how easy it is to make your 3D paper flowers. Now remember, I have made these before as poinsettias. They look gorgeous in the winter colors, but you can um, basically experiment with petal shape and see um, what you want to do. You can also cut whole petals out to make more, but we can do that in another video if you want, let me know. But um, that's it, your basic spring flower is complete. Aren't they lovely? I think they're really, really sweet and super easy. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but above all, keep watching and keep making. We'd love to see you again soon. Take care, bye.